Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a SQL database using SQL Alchemy in Bottle. So Bottle is a pretty lightweight framework, so it doesn't come with any plugins. So of course, you're going to have to install a plugin to use SQL Alchemy in Bottle. But once it's installed, it's pretty easy to use. So before you even install the SQL Alchemy plugin for Bottle, you need to make sure you have Python MySQL DB. And this is just so you can interface with SQL databases even if you don't have a SQL database on your local machine. You still need this library to uh, interface with SQL databases. So to install it, uh, I have Linux uh, Ubuntu, so I can use AppGit, but whatever you have, um, you'll just use that to install Python MySQL DB. So this is what I would do. I do sudo app git install python dash mysql db. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to actually run this, but that's the command that I will run. And then once I have that installed, I then need to install a bottle SQL Alchemy. So I'll do uh, sudo pip install bottle SQL Alchemy just like that. And I already have it installed, of course, so I'm not going to run it again. But those are the two commands you need to run before you can even get started with this. So once you have those done, uh, I will start up my app. So you can see the code there. Uh, it doesn't do anything yet, but I can make it run. So um, Python alchemy.py. And there should be no... Uh, I'll define the app. So app is bottle and let's run it okay so it's running but it doesn't do anything uh, i'll just go to the site not found because i haven't created a route yet all right so let's get started with uh adding sql alchemy to your bottle app so i already imported bottle I imported this URI from login, which I'll use in a moment. It's basically my login information to my database. I don't want to reveal it in the video because I actually use this database. So uh, I just have the URI here where I will log into it. But I'll show you an example of it in just a moment. So the other imports that I need to do is I need to import SQL Alchemy from bottle extension. So bottle.ext import SQL Alchemy. And then from SQL Alchemy, I'm going to import a couple of things. Uh, create engine, column, integer, sequence, and string, because I'll be using all those things in the one table that I'll demonstrate. And then finally, I'll um, include the declarative base. Um, it's basically a default that I use because I'm not going to uh, define my own. So declarative import, declarative base. So let me instantiate the declarative base first. So I'll call it base is declarative base. And I feel like I spelled something wrong here. Declarative, just like that. Okay. So there, and then I need to create the engine. The engine is basically connecting to my SQL database. So I'll call it engine and create engine and then i'll pass in my uri which i imported up here but if you uh, need to create your own uri they typically look something like this so mysql and then uh username password at uh, database location.com slash database name so something like that. If you use a different database, so you use PostgreSQL or um, some other SQL, some an Oracle database, uh, then you'd have a different URI. But in my case, I'm using MySQL, so it starts with MySQL here. So I already have the app uh, created, so I just need to attach the plugin to Bottle. So first, I'll create the plugin. Plugin is SQLAlchemy.plugin. And I need to pass in three things. I need to tell it the engine. So I created that up there. And then I need to pass in the keyword that I'll be using. This keyword will be injected into my route so I can actually uh, use the database. And then I'll set commit. Nah, I won't set commit. I'll just do engine and keyword to keep it simple. And then I'll install the app. So app install plugin. 
So now that I have the plugin installed, I can actually start doing stuff with my database. The first thing I need to do is uh, create a class. So this is how SQL Alchemy works. It's basically a, an object relational mapper. So you take uh, the objects that you have in the database, so the, the tables, and you map them to Python objects. So I have one table in my database. This table is called the table. Um, not a very creative name, but that's the table that I uh, came up with, and it has one row in it already. Um, it has an ID column and a name column. So to create this, I'll just do class, the table, and I'll pass in the base. It inherits from the base. I need to give it a table name. Uh, table name is going to be the table. So the class name and the table name should be the same. In most cases, of course, you can do it differently, but that's the convention. And then I have the two columns that I need to specify. So I have the ID column, which is an integer, and it is a primary key. So primary key is true. And then I have the name of it. And then this is a string of 50 characters. All right, so let's create a route where I can actually see the data in the database now that I have this uh, object set up. So I'll create a git route on the index. I'll define this as show, and I need to pass in um, as a parameter the db, which is the keyword that I specified above in the plugin. So db, and this automatically gets injected into the route. So first thing I need to do is query from this table. So I'll do table data, and um, I'll do a query on the table. So this will return everything from the table. I'll create a results list, and I'll say for um, x in table data, I want to append whatever name shows up. So results.append. Let's do name, and the name will be x.name. And then finally, once I have appended all the names, I'll uh, return a dictionary, which will get converted to JSON. So I'll say table data, data data uh, is results. So I'll save that, and server should restart it. It did. So I'll go to the index and run it and see what happens. And I get Anthony here as the table data. And that's because it's the only value in the database, the only row. So I'll add a second route just to demonstrate. I'll create a route to add something. I'll call it add, and it takes in the DB again, which gets injected. And I'll create something called table row. Instantiate the table with name as John. And then I'll call db.add table row and then db commit to actually commit it to the database and I'll return add it row. I'll save this and I will go to add. It says add it row. Let's see if it's in the database now. I'll refresh. And I see uh, John is now in the the database, if I go back to the index, I should be able to see uh, both Anthony and John. So very simple stuff, very easy to actually connect to a SQL Alchemy database, or sorry, connect to a SQL database using SQL Alchemy. Um, not much that you have to do in Bottle to do this, and then uh, pretty much after that point, you just have to define your uh, object relations in Bottle, and then you can use them in your routes. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.